Hello and welcome. Today I am going to play Berdino 2025 The Battle of Moscow. It is the third game of the World War III series released by the uh, Tactica and Strategia. This is an uh, alternative uh, history uh, series of the war game <coughs> that starts with Ardennes 2024, where Russia uh, takes control over the Eastern and Central Europe allies with Germany and Germany attacks on the West trying to capture Belgium and Holland and take control over these countries. In the major battle in Belgium, Germans are stopped by the Brits and Americans and then Russians join the war, but they are also stopped in Ardennes. In the Waterloo 2025, the second game of the series, uh, there is some disrupt uh, between allies, especially uh, between uh, French and uh, England, uh, of who is going to take control over <coughs> uh, free uh, territories. But uh, Germans and Russians are making their last attempt uh, to attack and their forces are crushed uh, in the battle near Brussels. After uh, this uh, battle, uh, German, uh, Germany uh, take uh, change uh, their turn and they are uh, joining allies and Russians are driven away of uh, Central Europe and NATO forces are starting their uh, operation to free Central and Eastern Europe. In the two uh, next uh, smaller games that were published in the magazine, Orsa 2025 and Neville 2025, NATO forces are entering Russia, <coughs> capturing uh, Belarus and Baltic states, and they are aiming on Moscow. So this is the last, I believe, uh, part of this series that shows uh, Allied attack on Moscow. But Russians, uh, despite the fact that they have to defend uh, their capital, are starting to fight against each other. And this is uh, what we are going to see in the first uh, scenario of the uh, game. The scenario first uh, called Dożynki or Harvest Festival in English uh, is kinda introduction to the game. It is smaller one turn scenario and it, it, it's not even using game's mechanics, it has its own special mechanics. Uh, please notice that all the scenarios in this, game, in this game are linked with each other, so uh, we have to include losses, setups and everything from the previous scenarios. This scenario depicts the situation where NATO forces are advancing on Moscow and uh, there are groups of interest in Moscow uh, that are not quite fond of the current regime and they are trying to gain control over the capital of Russia. And in this scenario we have two groups. <coughs> One of these represents uh, pro-communist uh, fighters and one uh, is the group <coughs> that represents uh, military uh, forces that want to take control over Russia and start a new military regime. Like I said before, this scenario is played in a completely different way than uh, the other uh, uh, scenarios in this game. So. First of all, we need to make a roll to see who is going to have initiative. So red for commies, white for uh, military. This is a draw, so we have to reroll. So military has initiative. And now uh, they have to place one of their units anywhere in Moscow. So let's start with this mechanized uh, Brigade and now commies have to set up one of their units anywhere at Moscow. 
And now we have to, ch to resolve the combat. And we are not going to resolve it in the normal way, like uh, checking for terrain, modifiers, etc, etc, but simply by rolling a die and adding the strength of our units. Uh, like I said, this scenario uses kind of different uh, mechanics and once per, uh, scenar uh, per scenario, one player may use Air Force. He, he declares this uh, when he attacks and then he makes a roll to see how many points he gets. So, <laughs> Uh, we have a combat here, so let's uh, resolve it. And now they have three, they have two. No one uh, wants to use Air Force. So for reds, this is four. And for whites, this is one. So reds won the day. And due to this fact, uh, army has to lose one step. Okay. Now army gets initiative and they are placing one of their units here, then commies are next to go, they are setting up their group here, and now <clears throat> we have to make another roll, but this time army declares that they want to get uh, air force, so they have to make a roll and they get plus four. Okay, so now we have to roll for the combat, and now army and commies. This is 4 and this is 10. So this is a draw. No one suffers any losses. Now commies are first to go and they are going to set up their unit here. Next army has to set up their unit anywhere on the adjacent hex that uh, to commies. Let's make a roll. This is four and five. So army won this time and commies have to suffer one loss. All right, army is next to go. <coughs> they are setting up their unit here. Commies are set up there. Oh, maybe let's use them. And now our uh, commies wants to use the Air Force. They got plus two. And now let's make a roll. This is six and four. So this is eight plus two, four, 12 and seven. So army suffers one loss. Commies are next to set up and they will set up here. Army sets up there. <laughs> we have the same strength on the both sides. Four and four draw. No one suffers any losses. <clears throat> next, commies going to set up uh, their unit here. Army sets up their unit there. So roll four and five. So commies suffer one loss. Two more units to go. Commies are first to go. They set up here. Army goes there. And now roll five and one. So army suffers one loss. And last units. Uh, army is going to set up uh, their unit here. Commies are going to set up their unit there. And now let's roll. It's six for army and three for commies. So commies are losing one step. And now after all the combats are done, we can set up our headquarters and headquarters can be set up anywhere on the friendly unit. So uh, army's, uh, army headquarter is going to be set up here and commies headquarter will be set up there. So this is the end of the scenario and 
after uh, we are go we are uh, done with this this is also the initial setup on moscow for uh, the beginning of the second scenario there are no victory conditions in this uh, scenario because like i said this is kind of preparation for the second uh, scenario uh, that's why we weren't using uh, com comments and their modifiers along with terrain modifiers star modifiers etc etc so that would be all uh, for the first uh, scenario I decided to make this video short as a kind of introduction uh, to, for the series and I'm going to play second scenario next time so that was quick but anyway thank you for watching and see you next time